How to do a front squat. In this video, we talk about how to do a front squat, the proper execution of a front squat, the different phases of a front squat, and key points in each technical phase of the front squat. So, how to do a front squat. Before we hop over and have a look at the technical execution of the front squat, we quickly talk about the different phases of front squat. We have the start position, the moment you start, the descent, lowering into the bottom position, the bottom position, and the ascent, when you come back up, back into the end position, which is the start position for the next repetition. So let's have a look at all these phases in the video. So let's have a look at the front squat. So here we see Tuan van Gent, double Olympian in BMX. He made it to the fifth place in London 2012 and made it to the semifinals in Rio. So in the start position, you want to have very similar to the back squat. The feet are shoulder width apart. The forearms and forearms are parallel with each other. The bottom of the upper arm is parallel with the ground and the elbows pointing straight forward. So important here is that the weight, the bar, is supported on the shoulders and the hands, the fingers, just hold the bar in place. So there's no active holding uh, from the hands. So it's all supported on the shoulders. So if we then look at the descent, initiated by bending hips and knees simultaneously, and you can see here also the elbows stay in position. You don't want to drop the elbows. If you imagine there is some, I once heard that cue, which I think is very, very good. Uh, if you imagine there is a laser pointing out of your elbows, the laser is supposed to point straight forward. Yeah, so you want to keep that. And then you descend into a full squat position where you can see that the thigh, the upper thigh is less than parallel. So in that position you can still see here. Uh, slightly, he slightly dropped the elbows, but it's still good enough. So you can see here. Now, if in a back squat that angle of chin and back angle is parallel, that shifts a little bit. So in the front squat that is far more upright. Yeah, so the body stays more vertical with the ground. That's also why it places more load on the thighs. But you can see here in that position, so the knees nicely track over the feet and the back is straight. Yeah, so in a full squat, you want to see the crease of the hip a little bit lower than the midpoint of the knees. And that is the bottom position. Oh, he goes even lower than that. And then reversing the position. Again, here very often you see the elbows dropping, so he can you can see a little bit of that trend here, but he keeps it well in place. Reversing the movement by extending knees and hip at the same time. So now you can see, actually, you can see here the elbows drop a little bit. And this is why with him, we use, for example, the hands-free front squat extensively. So that teaches him really to have the bar a little bit more supported on the shoulder. So even high level athletes like him, you can see a few technical flaws, but all in all, I think it's a good example of the front squat. Yeah, reverse the motion until you're fully upright. And this is the end position and you can start the next repetition here. So if we go through that again, the phases, very similar to a back squat, that is the start position. This is the descent, so descending into a full squat position. So descent, this is the bottom position, and then, oh, this is the bottom position for this guy. You can see he squats really deep, so the his hamstring is really in contact with his calves probably also because the weight is a bit light for that guy. And then reversing is the ascent. Yeah, And at the end of the ascent, this is the end position and the start position for the next repetition. 
So wrapping this video up, how to do a front squat? We have five different positions. The start position, the descent, when you lower yourself, the bottom position, the ascent, coming back up, and the end position, which is the next start position, if you do multiple repetitions.